show a different image on a WooCommerce products page besides the featured image. Luckily, Divi makes it extremely easy to do. My name is Michelle and I release videos on marketing websites and all things design. So if you find this information helpful, be sure to give the video a like and subscribe if you'd like to follow along. This video is actually part of a series that I did. The first video I did was showing you how to set up a variable product. And then I did another video on how to add swatches to that variable product to jazz up the design just a bit. So this third one is really just going over how to stylize the entire product page, including switching out that featured image for another image of our choosing. So if you're ready to get started in building this page, let's get to it. Alrighty, now it's time to sort of stylize our product page. If you have been following along, this video is part of a series. So we've set up our variable product, we've stylized it with adding some swatches, and now we need to give it a little bit of a design love. So there's a couple things that I wanna do. Not only show you how to set up a theme template page in the theme builder using Divi, but also uh, what if we wanted to change the feature image out? Let's say we land on the product page. We don't really wanna see our featured image. We'd rather see maybe the model shot. So I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. It's very simple. So let's get started by going to our theme builder. So if you don't know where that's at, we're gonna navigate to our dashboard and then under Divi theme builder, we will get something set up. So really all I have right now is our global header set up using the theme builder. So if I wanna add a new template, I just come here and I click the plus sign and then I need to find the type that I want to do. So I really want this to be all product pages. And you can see that we've got all kinds of things of all product category pages, all product tags. You can really customize to whatever you want. I'm going to scroll all the way down here. And then under our products, we're just going to do all products. So all products are going to have this template. We will hit create template. Of course, it's got our global header in there already. That's definitely okay. So we just wanna make a custom body. So we're gonna click build custom body. The first thing I wanna do, I'll probably make this a two column row here and we will add our first module over here. So if I scroll all the way down in Divi, I can see that we've got woo modules that I wanna put in and then I wanna do the woo product images so i will select this module you do have the ability to filter it so for this instance i just want to put this product that means that whatever product that is landing on this will be the product image for that page if you were using this in a blog post for example you might have a specific product that you were going to call out so that's another way to use this but we really want this to be more of like a variable data situation so we're just going to hit this product and i'm going to hit save right now the other thing i want to do is i want to add some additional woo modules over here so i might want to do something that is the woo product title again we'll just keep it at this product we will add we're going to add the short description as well so let's find we're going to use woo product description and you have the ability to filter between the, sh the regular description and the short description we're just going to go with the short description that's fine for now again keep it at this product and then we do want to add in woo product add to cart again this product is all good and this is what's going to give us our color and our size we're not quite done yet let me find woo product price that's what i was looking for we'll hit that and then let's move this one up above so that we've got our product name the description the price this will have our swatches and our add to cart. And then if we wanted to add additional things, you know, you definitely can. You can add whatever you want. Um, you could even create a whole nother row with 
product upsells or related products, whatever your heart desires, you can definitely do. So still want to add a little bit of styling because I don't love the default color. Let's say that we wanted to go into the design tab and for the price text, I'll move this out of the way so that we can see it. Let's say we were going to do this purple color. That's what we're going to go with. We'll hit the check there. And then same goes, we want to stylize that add to cart button. So I might go to the button, use custom styles, and then let's say we were going to do white text and then let's add a background color of this purple. So when it's available in order to add it to the cart, you would have to select an attribute. So that's why it's grayed out at this current moment. But once you would select the color or the size, if we had different sizes, then you would do that. So we'll hit check there. And then let's just see what this looks like at the present moment. We can always come back and make more edits if we want to. So I'm going to hit save on this template and then I'm going to hit the X up here to get out of it. Now, very important tidbit. If you create a brand new template, you will have to make sure you hit save changes in the upper left hand corner up here. If you don't, you could lose your work. It should give you a reminder or at least a warning before you leave. But whenever you create something brand new, you will have to hit this teal save changes button. Otherwise, if you were to go back and let's, for example, say edit the global header and you hit save internally, you won't have to hit this button again. So just something to call out as you're making new template pages, we'll hit save. And then let's go see our product. We'll hit view here. And now I can see that I've got the name, I've got our short description, our price. And then if I choose a swatch, I can see the images pull up. So once I've chosen it, I can choose a quantity and then add it to the cart. If I wanted to, I could also hit clear and then it would go away. So the other thing that I want to do is let's say that I don't really love the featured image being shown here. I'd rather just see the model shot when I land on this page. So how would I do that? It's very simple. We're going to navigate back to our theme builder. We'll hit edit here. And then on this product image settings, we have elements. So if we do have a bunch of gallery images that we would put on the back end, we can definitely show those. We could show a sale badge, but this is the button here. Literally all you have to do is turn it off. If you don't want that featured image to be shown and you would rather show off a different image, that's all you need to do. Now, I will say that this actually works best if you do have a gallery image because otherwise, this is what's going to show up. So I'm going to hit save changes on this and then I'm just going to show you what happens if we were to leave it as is. I'll hit save and exit. And as you can see, it says all changes are saved now because I wasn't, I was just editing something that was existing and not making something brand new. So I'm going to actually sh bring up a new tab uh, to view our product in. Okay, so we are on our women's slim fit tee. And as you can see, there is nothing there because we are not showing that featured image. We have to rely on a gallery image if we do want to show something different out of the gate. So we'll just go in and we'll hit edit the product. And this is where we would need to choose a gallery image. So if I wanted to showcase our model shot using this image here, I would hit add to gallery and then I would hit update and then we could view our image. Now, because it's showing a gallery image and it's not showing, we've turned off that feature of showing the featured image, we, we have the ability now to show a completely different image if we want to. Uh, normally, you'll when there's gallery images inserted, you'll see a bunch of thumbnails underneath. But because we don't have multiple images, we're only going to see the one. So if this is a scenario that you wanted to create where you had a just completely different shot, this is how you would do it you will see if you add multiple images into the gallery, that's when the gallery will become sort of reactivated. So if we go back and we edit the product and we say, oh, let's add a few more to the gallery. I don't know why you would in this instance, but 
You never know. I'll just walk through the scenarios for you. We'll hit the update and then we're gonna hit view so that we can see that once you add multiple, now we've got those gallery images, which don't really love. So the nice thing about this though, is that if you want to check and see a different color, so the teal, you know, we can still click on these individual colors and see what they look like. It's just because we've got multiple gallery images and the main product, that's why it's showing up in this manner. So probably wouldn't want to do that. So this is just a quick tip on how to do that. If you wanted to showcase a different image there. Let's go back and we'll hit update so that we can view our t-shirt. So if there was any additional information that we wanted to add, like I said, you could do upsells, you could do, um, we could add a sidebar into our template so that you could search for other products. Anything like that that we wanted to do is definitely up to you. It all just depends on how you want to display your products. So I hope you found this quick tutorial helpful. If you have any questions about anything, just leave those in the comments. I'm always happy to help where I can. As always, any of the related videos that were in this series will be linked in the description below. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.